you'll see a lot of that at LA Fashion Week. For those of you that don't know, what happens at Fashion Week? I'll give you some of an idea. This is the official program for the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week LA. And they send you out a list of all the designers as to who's going to be at all of the different shows. Some of the invitations come via mail. This one, actually I'm going to show you this one. This is probably the grandest one. This is um, Christian Auteger. And I'm bringing this one out. Christian is not there at Fashion Week this year, unfortunately, because he wanted an evening showing spot, which of course works better. But also it kind of shows the way of what's happening at Fashion Week. Because a lot of the old, if you want to call it staples, Sue Wong, Kevin Hall, Christian Auteger, are not going to be at Fashion Week. It's going to be more of a celebrity fashion show. But I'll give you some more of that. Those are probably the nicer ones. Some of the invitations come via email. Some you just get mailed, right? Oh, okay. And then you RSVP for the invite. And then you wait. And you wait and you check your email box to find out if you've sent in an RSVP. Well, here's the confusing part. If you've sent in an RSVP for an invitation, are you really going? Because some RSVPs require confirmation and others don't. So sometimes, unless you have a confirmation that you've received, you kind of show up and you're not quite sure if you're really supposed to be there. But anyway, let's go back to the show with the list of designers this time that are coming. I'm wearing this t-shirt. This is from, well this one's designed by Miley Cyrus, Spread the Love, and it's one of the new um, celebrity tea collections. It's not being shown at Fashion Week, but it's kind of representative of what you're going to be seeing there. It was um, designed by Miley, and it's available online at twolovecollection.com. And it's just one of the ones that are designed by celebrities for them. And girls across the country are actually supposed to be very happy with that. This shows you what happens in LA Fashion Week. This comes out in the LA Times image. This group right here, this is El Morave. El Morave was a late addition. But they're probably, I mean, these guys are real designers. Not to say that the celebrity designers aren't real designers, but this is what these guys really do. And it's a team of guys, you see them, one, two, three, four, that collectively design, and they take men's classics and make them a little funky, make them yours. But they're on some of the hottest guys around, and it's a, fa a, a favorite for celebrities. In fact, we just saw Brian Ferry with one of his Elmer Av um, jackets at Gen Art a few days ago. Let's see, who are some of the other hot collections? Let's see, uh, Imasu by Kelly Nishimoto, who was in the main tent yesterday. They were filming with Gene Simmons for that, probably for one of the Gene Simmons shows that were coming up. Other highlights, Joseph Domingo, he's a San Francisco-based fashion designer. He considers himself an atelier specializing in custom-made clothing for men and women. He's been featured in sportswear, um, CNN, Women's Wear Daily, and all over the place. Now here's the funny part is, I used to think that LA Fashion Week was all LA fashion designers, but it's not. We've got people from, well he's from San Francisco, they have people from all over the place. We also have Jenna Jameson that's coming for, for PETA. Can you believe that? PETA <laughs> and Jenna Jameson. And she's there because well, she's in a pleather bikini, and for those of you that don't know, pleather is um, like, it looks like plastic leather. It kind of looks like leather, but it's not. I think it little stretches a little bit, it's, you can get that. It's called Naga Hide. Oh, is that what it is? But it's kind of, you know, it's kind of stretches. So it evokes screen siren Betty Page in a synthetic new PETA ad called Pleather Yourself. Discover the pleasure of pleather. So J um, Jenna Jameson's doing a photo op today. And that's kind of unique, huh? They've had a lot of models, but actually Jenna's probably a really good one for that. Well, who else is coming that you think of that's really hot? Let's see. Here's some other hot ones. Let's see. Jean V. Ver Veronica Jean V. She's fused Paco Rabanne. Remember him? He came out of retirement to mentor a 28-year-old who's fused his revolutionary designs and with her own silhouettes to shape edgy feminine designs. So, we'll see. That show is for tonight. Also, let's see what else is fun. Um, Falguni and Shane Peacock, stage one. That's tomorrow, Tuesday. They're doing 
as you can guess, lots of um, glitter. Oops. Peacocks, feathers, things like that. Let's see other highlights. Ooh. Oh, the Green Initiative Humanitarian Fashion Show. Of course, you have to have one of those because green, of course, is the new black. They have an Austin eco-friendly designer, Renee Geneva, who's showing her new clothing line. The line is known as SOKA, an acronym for Sustainable Organic Contemporary Apparel, and it's inspired by Japanese historical architecture. And that's probably one of the more interesting ones that you would see. Let's see. Well, what else do you think is a highlight of, of Fashion Week? Pussycat dolls at the end of the week? Oh, most definitely. You know, everybody's got to come out with a line, especially if you're a celebrity. Pussycat dolls, I think. Wait a minute. Okay. A lot of lacy under things. And I don't know, maybe you'll see that on an upcoming episode <laughs> with the Pussy Cat Dolls. But that closes Fashion Week on Thursday, March 13th. Ashley Page, of course, is also doing her swimsuits. Stage one on Thursday, and it's going to be couture swimsuits for those of those uh, that want to look good in swimsuits but never intend to get them wet. But that's perfect because it is springtime now, and we're doing the fall and winter collection, as you're always well, a season ahead at least. So welcome to Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Los Angeles.